and then they're telling you you can't complain about it. And then they're subsidizing the media to the point where all of your big media outlets, which are disgusting, are state media because they're taking state cash. Do you watch CBC? I do, occasionally. I can turn in any hour of the day and I will learn that I am racist for driving an SUV and not being trans. That's, that's the whole schedule of CBC programming. But interpret that, that's not woke. Oh, it's woke. I hate the woke crap. It doesn't mean anything. They hate you, that's what they're saying. They're saying that you are bad. That's exactly what they're saying. Don't lie to yourselves, that's, what, that's all I'm saying. And we are very delusional in the United States because we're so distracted by stuff and electronic devices and the promise of next day delivery from Amazon of brightly colored plastic crap made in China that we tend to be slow to figure out what's going on. But Canada has a different restraint, which is a cultural one, it's an Anglo, specific Anglo cultural one, which is just like, I don't wanna deal with that, that's too uncomfortable. But in your heart anyway, even if you voice it to no one but yourself, know what the message is. And the message is you are bad. I mean, I'm gonna say the most controversial thing ever. I watched when Montreal was cleansed of its Anglo legacy. And I'm not anti-French, just, just for the record, at all. But I am Anglo, and I had friends in Montreal. And in the span of a generation, like, that's all gone. They were forced out. And they're like, okay, I guess we'll go to Ontario. What? My grandfather built this city, I'm not going anywhere. How about that? That never occurred to anyone. Because no one could say out loud what was actually happening. This was a series of acts of hostility aimed at you because of things that you didn't choose, like how you were born. And once you will keep allowing that, you have no future, okay? So if they're limiting your freedom to say what you think, which is a freedom of conscience, the most basic of all freedom, your freedom to defend yourself and your family against bodily harm, which has gotta be a twin to the first one. If they're taking away your voting power by changing the population of your country, which they are doing, and no one wants to talk about that, Canada has the highest immigration rate in the world per capita. And shut up, racist! That's not racist. I don't care if they're coming from New Zealand. I don't care if you're taking the population of Stockholm and moving them to Canada. If you change the population of the country, you change the country. And you dilute the voting power of the people who are vested in that country, the people who are born there, who have lived there long term, who understand the history and the culture of the country, who are bought in. And all of a sudden, their vote means much less. It's math. You guys do that. Math. 